Good morning. Welcome to another Monday morning coffee with Melissa. I'm your host, Melissa. Cheers. I have cold brew again. Cold brew is really good. One thing I forgot to mention last week, actually two things I forgot to mention. We very rarely put half and half or creamer in our coffee. Um, but with cold brew, it's really good with a little bit of like almond milk or walnut milk or, you know, some high quality half and half. Um, we try and find organic grass fed half and half. So um, anyways, it's really good. I encourage you to try it. And then the other thing I forgot to mention was what we started doing is we started making ice cubes out of cold brew coffee. So when we put an ice cubes, ice cubes in our cold brew, when we're drinking it, it doesn't water it down because we like our coffee strong. Um, so anyways, it's works out really cool. It's really neat. Um, so this morning I want to talk about the Disney movie Zootopia. So you kind of notice that we have a little theme going on here. Last week we talked about Wally, -E, the Pixar movie. And this week I have Lex here going crazy, chasing something. So Hopefully she doesn't knock the lights over. I guess we'll find out. Um, anyway, so today I want to talk about the movie Zootopia because I love, love, love this movie. It's definitely one of my favorite um, Disney movies because it has such an amazing message to it. So if you haven't seen it, it's a movie, it's all animals. So there's no humans in it. And it's really, really cool because what it's about is Zootopia is like this metropolis, um, just like booming metropolis where all different sorts of animals live. And there's like, like the rainforest and there's like the icy, like the, you know, the snowy area. And then there's, you know, these, like the sand, like the desert, and then um, there's like the downtown city area. Um, anyway, so there's the, all these animals, and um, Judy hops. She's a bunny, a rabbit, and she lives out in the country with her family, but then she's always wanted to be a bunny or a cop when she grows up. She wants to be the first bunny cop. That's her dream. So, and she'd wanted to be that since, it's a, since she was a little girl. So, man, Lex is just going crazy right now. Um, so, anyway, so she wants to be this girl, or this little girl rabbit, she, when she grows up, she wants to be a cop, a, the first bunny cop. And she just has, like, these big dreams, and she has such a great attitude, such a positive outlook. But then there's all these people around her telling her, you can't do that, blah, blah, blah. Even her parents say, it's okay to have dreams as long as you don't go after them. And it's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe her parents said that to her. But the lesson in that is parents being well and they're all doing the best they can with what they have been given in their life. So really also just remember that. That's the first lesson I want to talk about from that movie is just know if your parents are like, well, I don't know if you could do that. I don't know if you should. It's really because they want you to be safe, you know, and they want to make sure you're okay. And maybe they feel like that's not a safe path for you. So just remember that because Judy just kind of was like, oh, well, I'm going to do it anyway. And one thing she says in there, one line that I love is the only thing to fear is fear itself. And I love that line because the reality is there's really nothing to be afraid of in life. Whatever risks we take, most of the time, it's not going to be life threatening. You know, as long as you, you know, and I mean this from like, a, yeah, if you go out and physically try and like jump off a cliff or go rock climbing or skydiving, yeah, you could possibly die doing that. But, you know, like starting a business or, you know, starting a new health journey, you know, things like that. You're not going to die from doing that. I promise you that. Um, but oftentimes it's like, you know, changing careers, you know, buying a house, even buying a new car, you know, there's just little things that 
we're so afraid of doing. But the reality is we're not going to die. So we the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. So that's another great lesson. Um, and the theme song from the movie is called Try Everything. And one of the lines is it, it one of the lines in it is I'll keep on making new mistakes. And I love that. And that's like Judy's theme in her life. It's like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to try this and I'm going to make mistakes. I'm going to fail, but I'm going to learn from them and I'm going to keep doing it. And I love that attitude. And this, and the, like the net, the last thing I want to talk about is like going along with, you know, Judy hops being like, Oh, I'm just going to make mistakes. I'm just going to try it. I'm going to try everything and I'm going to make mistakes and that's okay. The power of enthusiasm. So when Judy first gets to the ZPD, Zootopia Police Department, she gets assigned to parking duty. And at first she's like, no, I could help. I could help with, you know, these big cases. And the chief is like, nope, parking duty. And she's like, all right, well, I'm going to do my best then. Instead of writing, you know, X amount of tickets by noon, I'm going to do double that. And um, so she really, and she does it with enthusiasm too. And it's just so amazing, like parking duty. Like when you become a police officer, that's most likely not which, the job that you want. But she just is so excited about it, like, all right. You know, and it's just incredibly powerful. And I really feel like if we had more of an attitude like Judy Hopps, Officer Hopps in Zootopia, that we would be more successful. And not even would we be more successful in life, we would also be happier. Oftentimes I feel, and I say this from personal experience, is, you know, there's like, oh, I don't want to do this. You know, I don't want to do that, you know. It's like, why don't not, why not take a task and activity that you have to do, you know, and make it fun, find a way to make it fun, make a game out of it, or just tell yourself, okay, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this with a positive attitude and I'm just going to go for it. So, and, and I talk about this, you know, from a health coaching perspective, because really health being healthy is not just about like eating healthy food or exercising regularly or getting enough sleep. It's a lot of it's about your attitude. When I coach someone, uh, we first start with, you know, your why and your vision where you see yourself going and affirmations because they're positive and we make them positive because you it really makes a huge difference in your success and in your overall health and well-being. Uh, so anyways, uh, I love this movie. I encourage you to watch it if you haven't. Zootopia, it's really cool. Um, the characters in it, um, Jason Bateman does the voice does a voice in there and Jennifer Goodwin does the voice of Judy Hopps and there's some other big celebrities in there, A-list celebrities that just do a phenomenal job with the voice, the voices. So, and it's really creative to you how they do the animation with the animals and the different size animals and ugh, it's just a phenomenal movie. So, um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this and I encourage you to just try everything you know, and don't listen to the negative Nancy's. Just know that there's a reason why they're being negative and they're discouraging you to do it, but it has nothing to do with you. It's all about them, even if it is your parents and just love them anyways. So on that note, I will sign off and enjoy the rest of your Monday and I will see you next week. Cheers.